Okay, so we have everything sorted out. And again, this box, this replacement element, this doesn't stay in your in your set. This goes into your storage area along with maybe the books that are inside as well so they won't get misplaced or put around and maybe torn a little bit. But you put this in your extra storage here and I want to show you this top box, how this matches. Watch this right here. Look at that. Look at those colors, how they match up. It's fantastic. The corner color elements for sorting. It's really going to help your class management and get everything all back into where it needs to be. Again, these separating sort sorting trays are here will be able to help your class management as well. And I have my books here. You know, at the end of the day, they can put these in here, but it's two different age ranges in here. So whatever matches the set that's going out that day, you can manage that way. So we have our box identification here. I'll tilt this forward a little bit so you can see what goes in the bottom part. So if they're not sure, mainly the larger elements, you have your 16 axles that go in the bottom part, your string elements and wheels, and the larger Technic brick here. And where did my spring element go to? Whoop, take us the noise again. Here it is right here. This is going to be fun to add into the set. So thank you guys for joining me for this unboxing and getting the stickers on and showing you some of the great motion parts of the uh, Brick Q Motion Essential how it's set up and color and sorting. Stay tuned for the BrickQ Motion Prime and other sets will be opening up as well to show you. So thank you for joining. Please subscribe and like and then we'll see you on our next video. Have a great day.